Hey, Alice Cooper. Mike, how you doing? I'm good, I'm good. It's good Great. to see you. Great, man. Hey, you know, I was thinking about this the other day. You're a big baseball fan. Oh, yeah. And you're a Detroit native. So you must like the Tigers a lot. Oh, man, I'm, I'm huge. I used to go to every game. I mean, I'm a Tigers fan since I was a kid. But correct me if I'm wrong, you know, I follow you. I'm a big fan. You, you live in Phoenix and have for a long time. I mean, you've got a restaurant down there right near the ballpark called Cooperstown. So you must pull for the Diamondbacks a little bit, right? Well, National League, yeah, I have to. I live there, you know. I love the D-backs, and I go to their games, too. You know, Alex, there's a pretty good chance that they could end up playing each other in the World Series. I mean, what do you do? I've been thinking about that. Uh, I have no idea. I love them both. I'm a huge fan of both. I can't decide what to do, you know? I might have an idea. Hey everybody, welcome to a very special postseason edition of Strike Zone. Today is kind of a first for our debate segment here at the MLB Fan Cave. We're going to have kind of a back and forth between two very special guests. Representing the city of Detroit, Detroit native, Mr. Alice Cooper. And representing Arizona, longtime resident of Arizona and restaurateur, Alice Cooper. Now gentlemen, you're both here to tell us why you think the Detroit Tigers as opposed to the Arizona Diamondbacks, are the better team. Detroit, Alice, why are the Tigers the better club? Oh, it's uh, probably because of the pitching. I mean, you know, you got to love to watch Justin Verlander. The guy is an ace if there ever was one. Swing and a miss, and Verlander takes care of him. How can you even compare the Tigers pitching to the D-backs? we got an awesome young staff. Ian Kennedy, Daniel Hudson are phenomenal, not to mention Joe Saunders. The Diamondbacks rotation is awesome, way better than the Tigers. Experience trumps youth, especially in the postseason. You wait and see how Detroit's rotation does when it counts. Okay, okay, gentlemen, let's keep it friendly. Keep it Mr. Nice Guy here, okay? Brings us to our next topic, though. Which team has the necessary experience to go deep into the postseason? Brad Penny won a World Series already. Victor Martinez, our vets who've been in the postseason. And the manager, Jim Leyland, has been in baseball since Ty Cobb. He already won a World Series. He's been in the playoffs a ton. The Tigers have loads of postseason experience. Experience? And what about Kurt Gibson? You don't think he knows a little something about postseason drama? High fly ball into right field. She is gone! I mean, he practically won the series in 88 by himself. Gibson brings plenty of experience and October magic. I know all about Kurt Gibson. He was on the Tigers when they won the series in 84. And you know what? Kurt Gibson ain't in the D-backs batting order. Uh, you know who's batting cleanup for the Detroit Tigers? Miguel Cabrera, probably the most feared hitter in the game. Two words for you, Justin Upton. Oh my, deep left field, a five hit game for Justin Upton. The kid is ridiculous. And now that they have Miguel Montero, the best offensive catcher in baseball, the D-backs lineup is insane. Oh, 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 gents, gents, gents. Let's just, I'm gonna call this one a tie, okay? No right. way, this joker didn't make one good point. Watch it, Bubba. I'll smack that motor mouth back to Motown. Shut it, moron. Are we on the same planet? Well, it was a great debate here on Strike Zone. Once again, I'd like to thank both Alice Cooper and Alice Cooper. Ha, huh. Alice, nice name, wrong. Is it the Tigers or is it the Arizona Diamondbacks? You decide. School's out.